Hello, guys, welcome back to Top Capable Channel. If you recently got a new iPhone, or want to transfer photos from one iPhone to another to free up space, this video will introduce you three simple ways to transfer photos between iPhones easily. Method 1. iCloud. Actually, if you enable iCloud Photos, your iPhone photos will be automatically uploaded to the cloud for safekeeping, and then you can download photos from iCloud on another iPhone. But if you have a lot of photos on your iPhone, you need to make sure you have enough iCloud space, because iCloud only offers 5 GB of free space. Ok, now follow our steps to transfer photos from iPhone to iPhone using iCloud. Unlock your iPhone and open Settings app. Tap, your name, iCloud, Photos. Alright, you should toggle the Sync this iPhone option to green now. But if your iPhone is running iOS 15 or earlier, you will see the iCloud Photos option, just turn it on. When you enable iCloud Photos, your iPhone photos will automatically sync to the cloud, and you can check the sync process at the Status tab on the Photos screen. Now, on your new iPhone or another iPhone that you want to get photos on, go to Settings, your name, and sign in with the same Apple ID. Then click iCloud, Photos, and enable Sync this iPhone or iCloud Photos. Next, swipe down the screen to select Optimize iPhone Storage or Download and Keep Originals. Well, iCloud will download the photos to your iPhone in either original quality or optimized form, depending on your choice. Ok, wait for sync process to finish, you can view these transferred photos in the Photos app on your new iPhone or another iPhone. If your iCloud free storage is full, use AppGeeker iPhone data transfer to transfer photos from iPhone to iPhone directly without thinking about running out of cloud space. Method 2. iTunes or Finder. Alright, let's move to the second way. You can transfer photos from iPhone to iPhone using iTunes or Finder. If you have macOS Mojave or older or a Windows PC, use the latest version of iTunes to do this task, but for macOS Catalina or newer, you should use the Finder. Connect your iPhone to your computer with a data cable and launch iTunes or Finder. In iTunes, find the iPhone icon here, click it. Then locate the Summary tab in the left sidebar. Go to the Backup section. Select this computer and click Backup Now. If you are using a Mac with Finder, in the Finder sidebar, select your iPhone. Then go to General tab. Select Backup all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac and click Backup Now. When the backup is finished, disconnect your iPhone from that computer, and then plug another iPhone into the computer. On the same page where you performed the backup, Select Restore slash Restore iPhone. When you restore a backup of your previous iPhone to another iPhone, you will also get the photos it contains. However, it should be noted that during the restore process, your target iPhone's original photo library will be completely replaced by the photos in the backup. If you don't want to erase the current content on the target iPhone, then try AppGeeker iPhone Data Transfer to transfer photos between iPhones without losing data. Method 3. Airdrop. Ok, the third method is to use Airdrop to transfer photos from one iPhone to another. If you put two iPhones close together and they both have Airdrop, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi options turned on, then you can drop photos over the air to the other iPhone. Make sure you have Airdrop, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi turned on for both iPhones. You can swipe down the screen to access Control Center and long press on the network settings in the upper left corner to see if these options are enabled. While enabling AirDrop, remember to select Contacts Only or Everyone as the Receive setting. Now, open the Photos app and then select the photos you want to send to the other iPhone. You can pick multiple photos by clicking on Select in the upper right corner. When you're done selecting, Tap the Send icon in the bottom left corner and choose the AirDrop option to continue. Then select your receiving device on the next screen. Now, pay attention to your receiving device's screen. If this prompt appears on the screen, tap Accept to download the transferred photos to your iPhone. 
Well, that is all for today. If the method introduced in this video can help you solve your problems, please do not forget to like the video and follow our channel. Thank you for watching.